Now I'll show you how to install Windows 10 on USB without losing its data. We are not going to format or create a new partition on the disk. You just need some free space on the USB. First, we make a virtual hard disk file. We'll create a dynamic VHD in the local hard disk because it'll be quicker and take the least space on the disk. Ten gigabytes would be a optimum choice. If you choose fixed VHD, it will take some time to create, but the installation will be quicker, whereas it will eat the whole ten gigabytes on the disk. Initiate the disk by adding this VHD entry on MBR or GPT according to your local hard disk type. You are now ready to have a new hard disk, just a quick format away. See, we have a 10 gigabytes blank disk in here. Now we can install Windows 10 in it. Here, I'm gonna install 32-bit Windows 10. You can go for 64-bit also. Unlike older versions, we don't have to restart computer to install Windows 10. But, you can't install it on a VHD by just mounting the ISO file and running the setup. Here starts the tricky part. We only need this large WIM file inside the source folder. This install.wim file is a compressed archive, which contains all the data to start Windows. Download this small program GImageX, which has a graphical user interface of Microsoft's image extraction tool. The original ImageX tool comes with Windows ADK. You have to use that via command prompt. But if you don't like to type commands, this program is just made for you. Look, this tiny program has both 32 and 64 bit versions. As the current OS is 32 bit, we choose this. Don't worry, you don't have to install this program. Go to the second tab, apply. Browse for the install.wim file that I have shown you previously. Now, select the VHD as destination, then hit apply. As the VHD is a dynamic disk, it will be slower than fixed type VHD. If you don't want to use this program, the best alternative is 7-zip. 7-Zip is a free software and yes, it can extract the WIM image file. Now, we have copied all the necessary files to the VHD. The next thing to do is, to copy the VHD file to USB. So what's the point, making a VHD file in local hard disk, and then copying it to USB? Can't we just make the VHD file, directly in USB? The answer is, yes, and no unless you have a high-speed USB and a proper file system in it, it's not gonna be so easy. Look, the VHD file is just around 5 gigabytes, that's why we made it a dynamic VHD. Here we have a problem, we can't copy the VHD file to the USB drive. This error occurs if the USB drive is either FAT32 or FAT16 formatted disk. FAT32 file system can process a single file up to 4 GB only. As you can see, this USB drive has FAT32 file system. We need to convert this to NTFS for the rest of the installation process. Now I'll show you how to convert FAT32 to NTFS without formatting the disk. Open command prompt as administrator. Run check disk on the USB drive to make sure any file won't get corrupt after conversion.
run the following command to convert FAT32 file system to NTFS without formatting the disk. See, all the data in the USB is still intact. Now we can copy the VHD file to USB. Now, load the Windows 10 VHD file from the USB. Finally, add this VHD boot entry to the USB drive. Here, the VHD is mounted at drive I, and the USB is on drive H. Boot configuration data is copied to the USB. Congratulations! You have a bootable USB ready. Plug this USB to any computer, and from BIOS menu, choose USB boot.